Right, so let's unbox. Pixel 4a has this pull tab and pull it down. And here it is. Google logo here, Pixel Tradition, fingerprint sensor, power button, volume button, a camera punch hole. Let's run the specs. The display, 5.8 inch OLED with FHD, which means it's 1080. 6 gig RAM with 128 gigabyte storage. Processor, Snapdragon 730G. Now this G means gaming. Qualcomm claims it's got 15% additional graphic boost over Snapdragon 730. Now, numbers are numbers. It's not easy to visualize how that additional 15% contributes to gameplay. So I'll share how Fortnite runs on this phone later in the video. Camera. You may be wondering the same thing that I'm wondering. Where's the ultra wide lens? Well, there's none found here on this phone. But when it comes to taking still images with a standard lens, this one still shines. I will show numerous sample photos I took in this video. Pixel 4a has Optical Plus electronic image stabilization. Optical image stabilization is a very nice thing to have, especially for the phone in this price range. Pixel series have been pushing the boundaries of what smartphone cameras can capture in the past few years. And that tradition continues. Now videos, it can shoot up to 120 FPS for 1080p, or it can even shoot 4K, although it's limited to 30 FPS. Now I'll show 1080p footages later in the video. Other highlight that caught my attention is 3.5mm headphone jack. By now, I'm used to using Bluetooth earphones, like the one I have here, but having this won't hurt you. So why not? While it powers up, let's check the rest of the box. Books, SIM pin, charging brick. This is 18 watt fast charging brick, cable, and a connection adapter. Let me set this up and I'll be right back. All right, so this is what the home screen looks like. It's got the rear fingerprint sensor. This works ultra fast. I personally won't mind having fingerprint sensor on the back of the phone because when you just lift it and hold your hand, your index finger just naturally rests here and that's where the fingerprint sensor is. For example, the phone is on the table, I pick it up and I hold it and, and it unlocks right away. This is a polycarbonate plastic bag, but it has a matte finish and it doesn't feel too cheap. Google stock Android OS provides some degree of customization. Like you can see here, they provide preset of three different styles. And if you include a default, that's four different preset styles that you can choose right out of the box. And if you want to make a custom style, you can tap on plus. And here you can choose font, tap next. You can choose the icon, you pick this for now. And you can choose color from eight different color options. Keep green for now. You can choose shape of the icon. And you saw this when I reviewed Motorola Edge and I'll just name it Zapped. So when you scroll down, that's what you see. Okay now, and I also have cover, this open cover. Now this is the fabric case. Let's open this up. This is actual like real fabric. The power button is plastic, but the volume button is actually covered with the same cloth material. So you can't really see it, but it's there. And it's got a nice soft inner layer. And has a wide opening on the bottom. Google Pixel 4a, because this case is only for Pixel 4a. Let's slap the phone in. Snap it. There's a large cutout for the headphone jack, power button, let's check the buttons. It feels very tactile. 
Now let's check the volume button because we cannot see it, but it's here. So you just feel it. No, it actually feels very tactile. It's just very understated because it's covered with this same cloth material, but it's very tactile. So that's that. All right, so let's check out some photos and videos.
video test. My arm is fully stretched. Now let's check how Snapdragon 730G with Adreno 618 handle Fortnite. All right, so it's set up now. Let me go to the settings. Now the mobile frame rate for Fortnite, it's set at 30 frames per second by default. So I'm gonna go ahead with that. And if you scroll down a little bit, there's 3D resolution. Right now it's set at 70% and this is the default. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this for now. Later on, I'm gonna play with 100% 3D resolution just to see if that drops any frame rate. Let's go. Okay, so the game started now. Check the frame rate. 30 frames per second, 29, 30, so it's running all right. Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4 Okay, so no weapons. All right. Let me at least get some building materials. Yay, pistol. Okay, what is this weapon? Now, it's not easy to read these small letters. It's mobile, 5.8 inch screen is not the biggest, but it's doable. Just gonna keep on playing. I don't have any shield whatsoever. Nothing. I'm gonna strike. I'm gonna go hunt for the shield. Somebody's shooting at me. But I'm just gonna keep on going. some shield no shield okay well I'm just gonna keep on driving until I find myself some shield no shield there's some boogie bombs those are those are wicked, huh? No shield. Yes! Finally. It's been handling the game pretty well. I mean, of course, the graphics, it's not, uh, it's not the best grade, but again, this is Pixel 4a budget Android phone. We're just here to test out the Qualcomm's Snapdragon 730G. Now the resolution is set at 70%. It was by default.
I didn't even see the guy. Here you go. Can't see. Whoa! Stop! Oh, he was up there. Let's get back to the lobby and I'm gonna increase the 3D resolution to 100% and see what kind of frame rate I can get on this Google Pixel 4a. All right, let's go to the settings. 3D resolution. Let's pump it up all the way to 100%. All right, let's play. I can really see that it's a lot more detailed right now than before. Now the sound is okay. I mean, it's not the best of course. Motorola Edge 5G, that thing really had good speakers. I mean, they go loud. Okay. Yeah, I... Dude, did you see? Did you guys see that? When there are a lot of polygons and 3D objects that it has to push, I do feel a stutter. But hey, we got an idea. Um, if you set it at 100% 3D resolution, the game does stutter. You could play, but for smoother experience, I would keep it at 70%, which is the default. All right. In the past, phones for the masses were just meh in terms of both specs and everyday usage. This phone keeps raising the bar. The phone is for the masses and for the people who want a little bit more. Do you like taking photos that look great, so much so you want to look at them again sometime later? Or do you enjoy casual gaming for that short time you wait for Uber Eats to arrive? If you do, then you might like this phone a lot. That's my two cents on Google Pixel 4a. I'll go shoot some 4K videos with this and I hope you come back and check it out.